Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another haul. I know there have been a lot. You guys probably think I'm going broke. I am, but it's the holiday season. It's the season for shopping. That's not the reason for the season, but that is what happens during this time of year. So there are um, some hauls to come and there have been at least 3,000 in the last month before this from me alone. So anyways, um, I'm feeling extra Christmassy. I got my big earrings on, I got a nice sweater on, my hair down, my nails are red, um, and I have my Christmas tree in the background. I'm going to kind of cover that up because that's a special tree. This is a tree that I completed through a challenge. Wink, wink. Did you see I can't wink? Um, and I'm going to be revealing it on December 3rd. It is my Dollar Tree Christmas tree collaboration, so I'm kind of trying to hide the good parts of it so that it'll be a big reveal when the video comes out. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, so in this haul, I have a few things that I purchased for myself. Some things are gifted to me because it was recently my birthday. So I thought I'm going to show you the things that I think are worthwhile for maybe you to pick up as gifts or for yourself. Um, not that some of the things that were gifted to me aren't worthwhile, but I'm not going to show you like gift cards and money and that kind of stuff because that's like weird. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not trying to brag about the things that people gave me. I'm super grateful for people giving me anything at all. Like, I turned 27. I don't need to be getting gifts for my birthday anymore. But like I said, I think they're worthwhile for you to maybe add to your own Christmas wish list or get for somebody else. So let's jump in. Now that I've rambled sufficiently, um, this, I have a feeling, is going to be a chatty video. Some of you are bothered by that. And when I say some of you, I mean... People who aren't my subscribers get bothered and they leave me comments, so you've been warned. I picked up some ornaments for myself, and the first one, I got three of these, is this beautiful mercury glass bird. This is real glass, and these are only $1.94. I don't know if you can see that from Walmart. So these are stunning. These would be beautiful on the tree behind me. They totally fit that rustic lamb theme but that tree is exclusively Dollar Tree items. So these are gonna find a home on a different tree, but I got three of them and I love them. The only thing is when I went to check out with these, Walmart didn't have anything to wrap them in and they acted like I was crazy for asking for them to be wrapped, but they're glass. So I don't know, if you work at a Walmart, let me know, is it just my store that doesn't have the proper supplies to wrap the delicate things that they sell or what's the deal like that was the weirdest thing ever so anyways they made it home safely thank goodness I also picked up three more of these faux mercury glass ornaments these are 98 cents I don't know if you can see on that tag these are 98 cents from Walmart they are plastic they have a little spot that you can put your string light in and it will kind of make this thing glow it will really show the mercury glass finish these are stunning so I've shown them in two other uh, shapes here on my channel I got these kind of like onion air balloon type shapes um, to put on my rose gold Christmas tree if you haven't seen that video I'm gonna link it down below I have a larger version on there and it looks good but I think that this is more size appropriate for that tree so I'm gonna swap those out with these and put those larger ones on my bigger tree. Um, sticking with ornaments, I did treat myself to a couple of um, Starbucks ornaments for my birthday. They're um, $7.95 a piece US and that's kind of pricey for an ornament because you know like if you see that price at Hobby Lobby you'll at least be able to get 40% off but not at Starbucks unless they're running a sale. So these were not on sale but I like I said I treated myself for my birthday. So the first one that I got is this little one. It's like a ceramic to-go coffee cup and it says Flourish and it has just some really pretty greenery um, and it looks like the Flourish is like erased out of the greenery if that makes sense. Um, it's really pretty and then the lid is a copper rose gold which you guys know they're speaking to my soul with that so I had to get it. For $7.95, was it worth it? I think it's going to be a cute little addition to my tree. I like to have like 
a lot of the same ornaments all over my tree but then I like to add in little special ones like this so I think it I think it's worth it and kind of to go along with that I also picked up the little fr French press this is plastic but it was still the same price what do you mean Starbucks why this is like just plastic but um, it looks like this and the string on this is a dark hunter green and it's so cute it looks like the real French presses so I got this going back to Walmart I did pick up I hope you guys aren't bothered by my hair it is it's in need of a serious wash uh, it, I've had this hair for like three days now so how often do you wash your hair let me know anyway so I picked up just a set of just this little thing of wax melt this is in the fragrance marshmallow candy cane it smells like marshmallows mixed with candy canes my timer just went off for pizza rolls um the preheat trying to decide if I should continue filming or go put pizza rolls in the oven I think I'm gonna keep filming anyway so I have this in my warmer right now it smells really good just like peppermint and marshmallow with sweet peppermint and then I have it um, going with marshmallow fireside you can't see it but it's over there from Bath and Body Works and they're a really good match because they're both marshmallow scents so I am happy with this these cost two dollars this is another item that I picked up for myself that um, I mean Jose may consider it a gift but I don't consider it a gift to myself it is just a cleaning product but it is the Mrs. Meyers peppermint uh, multi-surface cleaner I did just use it and it smells like peppermint just like a peppermint candy it says that it is made with plant-derived ingredients, essential oils, and birch bark extract made without parabens and phthalates. Um, glycol solvents, formaldehyde, and artificial colors, and it's cruelty-free. So this is um, nice to have for the Christmas time. I like to leave this out on my counter because I think that the bottles are just cute, so I always kind of match them. To my soaps and I have frosted cranberry in my kitchen right now which the label kind of matches the red from this label. Okay now moving on to a few gifts that I think would make excellent gifts for the Christmas time um, that were gifted to me. They were things that I really wanted, things that I really like so I want to share them with you. So first from my mom she got me this top and unfortunately it's a little bit too tight on me which is making me feel like confirming not making me feel like confirming what I already knew that I had gained a significant amount of weight hopefully that doesn't continue but it's gonna be hard not to with the holidays here but she got me this really pretty blouse um, it has it's kind of like a charcoal gray and it has this really pretty beading um, and then the back is what's really cool about it it has these cutouts and it goes into a cold shoulder so it's just a really kind of like extra special blouse that you could wear to like holiday parties and things like that. Um, this is from the Juicy Couture brand at Kohl's and she got it for me in a size large and it's a little tight around my hips. So um, I don't know if I'll size up. Um, like in all, I shop primarily at Nordstrom and Old Navy and at both all Nordstrom brands I'm a size large at Old Navy I'm a size large so this is a hit to my ego <laughs> I don't know is this a teeny bopper brand somebody please tell me that this runs small but I think it's really cute and if I can find it in the next size up I may have to just do it another item that was kind of like an impulse purchase that Jose got for me for my birthday he gave me my birthday present like this happens in every video that I'm in he got me my birthday present um a while ago he got me a couple sweaters and I've been wearing them nonstop. they were a bit pricey and so when we saw them on sale um, before my birthday we just got them then and so I may show that in like a winter must-haves kind of video if you'd be interested in seeing a video like that let me know it would be everything from fashion beauty home decor candles all the things that I love let me know if you want to see that but um, Anyways, he, for our first anniversary, got me a perfume sample book. You can get these at Sephora. I think they probably still carry them. You get like, maybe like 10 samples of perfumes and then you get a little certificate with the samples that 
um, gets you a full size so you can try out all of the perfumes decide which one you want and then get that one for free but you're paying for you're paying for it in the book but um, and then it comes with like a nail polish too so this is a fragrance from that book that I like the most but I don't have the um, gift certificate anymore so I never ended up getting the full size but we saw I took it out of the box oh, this is gonna blind you guys this is the Ju Juicy Couture or Viva La Juicy Gold Couture perfume this was a like holiday kit it I'll show you hopefully this doesn't blind you this is how it comes oops and we just got this at Meyer. We were just walking by at Meyer, and I said, oh, that's the perfume that I wanted. And he, he got it for me because he's a nice guy. Um, but this says $32.99. It was on sale for $24 at Meyer. And um, I don't care necessarily about the body wash or the lotion. I just really wanted this. So this is what it looks like. This is a very sweet warm fragrance perfect for winter time and this is not like your mature woman kind of fragrance um this is like a step up from like a celebrity perfume or like maybe a step up from like that pink sugar perfume um like i wouldn't wear this to your office job <laughs> or i mean i don't listen to the i don't really abide by the fragrance rules if i like it i wear it and i wear it when i want to but this is the kind of thing that i really would be like I can I maybe think twice before wearing this to like brunch with my grandma or something like that so it is just so warm I think some of the scent notes are like praline warm vanilla musk those kind of things so this is delicious and I had been watching so many perfume videos lately trying to decide what kind of perfume I would buy for myself and this is like at the top of every perfume list um, that I was watching a lot of people are kind of like eh, about it because it is juicy couture and that's not really like a high-end perfume it's like more in the affordable price range but still not like a body mist but i don't care i just absolutely love this if you're interested in this scent i would go to either sephora or kohl's and do the um scent tester of it um meyer had a scent tester of it too but i've seen it at sephora i don't know if you guys have Meyer, but I've seen it at Sephora and Kohl's and then if you like it I would get it from Meyer or Walmart because it's significantly cheaper at the grocery store I don't know why uh, but anyway so that was $24.99 and that would make a great gift or stocking stuffer or something like that now moving on to some other gifts from friends um, I've been best friends with like the same four girls since I was in kindergarten and we usually do like a whole big production for everybody's birthday, but we decided enough's enough. We're a little old. Let's stop doing that. We used to like all chip in like $30, $40 and get e each other like a big gift. Um, so we decided we're just going to do something small, just like a, um, like a, hey, it's your birthday and we're going to celebrate you, but we're not going to go crazy. So they got me um, a cake with a, let me back up. We decided when we're 30, the year that we turn 30, we're going to go all on a cruise together, celebrate one last hurrah of our birthdays, and then stop celebrating because it gets a little bit ridiculous. So this year, to kind of like tone it down from like the big extravagant gifts, they got me a cake with like a beach frosting on top to kind of symbolize our cruise. And then they got me this candle that is Bergamot Waters by Bath & Body Works. So the waters part is what they were kind of like tying into the cruise. And this is the metallic jar with the marble lid this is stunning um you can get these on sale for $12.50 I really hope that's what they did I hope they didn't pay full price but they're not candle people so I don't know if they knew or not um but bergamot waters is like a watery cologne kind of scent to me at least and I so appreciate that they got me this and it is such just such a stunning candle but this is not um, the kind of this is the kind of fragrance that sort of gives me a headache, and um, I may I'm gonna try it out because lately I've been trying out candles that are not my preference and really loving them. Um, so I'll try this out, and if not, I might return it for a different one, which they would never be offended by. Um, so I am so thankful that they got me this though. I I thought that this was one of the prettier ones, but. 
I said in my last video that I wasn't crazy about really any of the fragrances in this collection, but um, they're just so beautiful. Now moving on to my last couple items. This was also another birthday gift from one of my best girlfriends. I was in her wedding in October. What I got her for her bridal shower was something that I saw and I was like, I want that for myself, so I'm gonna get it for her. Um, and uh, once I gave it to her, I told her, I'm gonna get that for myself. I'm gonna get the whole set of these for myself when Jose and I buy our first house, which we haven't done yet, so I haven't gotten it. But she got me one piece to the set, which was so nice of her, and it is this beautiful um, gold touch ceramic, what is it called? Ceramic reinforced non ceramic reinforced non-stick baking sheet. Um, these are so amazing. They're so heavy. This weighs like five or six pounds and it's gold. I mean, it's just stunning, but you can tell. Obviously it's from Williams Sonoma, so it's high quality, but you can just tell that this is really good quality. So I'm really excited that she bought me one of these. I got her two of these and a muffin tin for her bridal shower. So I, I mean, like I knew that I wanted these and so I'm really happy that she got me one of them so that I don't have to get it for myself. And with the holidays right around the corner, I'm going to be using this nonstop and I'm just so excited about this. And then the last item from this haul is also from her and also from William Sonoma. She knows I love candles and she loves candles too. She got me this frosted clove candle, and I've been curious about William Sonoma candles for a while. So if you're somebody who's watching and you're part of the candle community, and you have been curious about William Sonoma candles and you want a review on this, let me know. Um, they are nine ounces. They're made with essential oils. They're one wick, and they come in a frosted jar like this. Um, it has a burn time of 42 hours. So that's longer than Bath and Body Works and less wax in there. Um, it smells strong and this is a very, I'm not usually like a spice candle person, but this is a very sweet clove. You can smell some citrus in there. It says clementine and I do get that. Um, it says made from a blend of beeswax and vegetable wax with cotton and paper wick. This paraffin free candle burns clean while naturally scents the air. So this is a clean burning candle if you're somebody who is um, into like natural candles. And I'm really excited to light this one up. It really does smell like Christmassy, kind of fall as well. And again, the name of this one is Frosted Clove. So this turned into a really long haul. Hopefully you guys didn't mind. Um, if you have questions about anything you saw here, let me know. And if you're interested in this tree, stick around. Um, the video will be up on December 3rd. You can hit that bell notification so you get notified of all my videos as I upload. Um, I know like every YouTuber says that, but a few of you have recently left me comments um, that you have been getting unsubscribed to my channel. Even some of like my best YouTuber friends have told me that. And I don't know if maybe if you hit the bell that will, like even if you get unsubscribed, you'll still be notified of my videos. I really have no idea what the story is with that. If anybody has any advice or suggestions or any knowledge of that, definitely leave me a comment or shoot me a message letting me know. Um, and yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I will see you back in my next one. Bye, guys.